They're back. Oh, they're back. That's right. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. They are back on shelves again. And this time, you can get Commander decks inside of them. Like I said, it's about one wave a year where MJ Holdings, the company who makes these, will uh, distribute random Commander decks inside these Walmart MTG Mystery Cubes. However, I had difficulty myself finding ones that weighed roughly one pound. If you find ones that weigh about a pound, you got yourself a Commander deck of Sahili, which is going for about, I want to say $39 plus tax and shipping. So you're looking at around like a $45 deck roughly that you can find inside of one of these $19.95 Walmart MTG Mystery Cubes. They just went back on the shelves within the past week. I've received at least six or seven messages from fans on various messengers, emails, whatever the case may be. And they're all saying, they even showed me uh, photos, one a video of him opening up a Sahili Commander deck. So far, Sahili is the only one I'm hearing about, probably because it's one of the least sought after of the decks, uh, commander wise, that they put on shelves. But nonetheless, that's basically doubling your money. So you spend 20 bucks. If one weighs one pound, you can wait in the produce section. But I'm telling you, you pick up one of these cubes and you just feel it, you know, you can tell the weight difference in the cubes. So we're going to get to cracking these two open. Again, neither, neither of these weighed one pound or more, but I'm still curious to see what's inside of them. Um, I wish I could have got my hands on some. I went to three different Walmarts. No such luck, pal. No such luck. I didn't want to venture out too far, but I'm sure if you go out, you will find some near you. Also, I'm going to be opening up some mail from Nathan and Buck. And if you're interested in the Lightning Aggro deck that I said I'm giving out to someone, as well as the Funko, Nicole Bolas, I'll provide information about that in one moment. Anyway, let's get into cracking, capping. May the magic gods forever be on my side. Now, my my ex I'm not expecting much out of this, okay? My expectations right now cracking this first one is pretty low. On one side, we have Fate Reforged. On the other side, we have Throne of El Drizzle, okay? Let's open this puppy up. I'm going to keep it a little secret. We're not going to see what exactly this is just yet. But we're going to crack these two packs, and then we'll get on to opening up what's behind this door right here. All right, Fate Reforged. These are going for like 4 bucks a pop, so that's something. It's some value. And you can pull the Ugin. The Ugin's still going for like 20 bucks right now, 22 bucks, something like that. All right, let's see what we get out of Mr. Fate Reforged here. Hopefully something cool. We got ourselves a dragon. How are you? A white dragon. You don't see that every day. All right. Goblin boom keg. All right. Priest and just guy infiltrator. Bada bang. Uh, it can't be blocked as long as you control no other creatures. When just guy infiltrator deals combat damage to a player, exile it and the top card of your library in a face down pile. Shuffle the pile, then manifest those cards. And it goes on to explain what manifest does. There's the chase card in the set. But man, how the mighty have fallen. Ugin, at one point, not too long ago, Ugin was sitting at a good like $60 to $80. And now the price is so tiny because it was reprinted in Corset 2021, which is technically 2020, but what are you going to do? All right, so this is Throne of Eldraine. Can we pull something spicy out of Throne of Eldraine? Who knows? All right, Ranger, Suit Boy, Edgewell Innkeeper. Very annoying card. A heck ton of card draw to that. Fabled Passage. Yeah, baby! Woo! All right. Hit some luck there. Uh, Fabled Passage, I do expect to see a few more reprints over the next two years. I did say that, and they already have reprinted it. Uh, I want to say in uh, a commander set or two and in a regular set also. Um, but there it is. Fabled Passage in all of its glory, baby. Oh! Hot jiggity dogs. Boop, 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 boop. All right, we got a foil Linden, the Steadfast Queen. You know, sometimes, guys, it's not always about the value. It's about the experience. You know, I think a lot of players, um, a lot of fans on my channel get lost in the value because I put numbers on the, on the board. But, man, just pulling these two cards right here, that made my entire day. That's a foil freaking Linden. 
gorgeous, gorgeous queen over there. All right, and the Fabled Passage. You can't go wrong. That was a great pack, man. How do you, you can't complain about that? You can't complain about that. But what we can't complain about, if you don't weigh, if, if, the, if, if the deck does not weigh a, a pound, okay? If the storage cube does not weigh a pound, you may find something in there like this. You may find something in there like this. What the heck is this? Okay, um, was not expecting this. Uh, Pulse Tracker, don't even know the set symbol on that. Interesting. Attacks each opponent, loses one life. Whenever it attacks, loses one life. Okay, that's cool. And we got Shadow Ally Denizen. Somebody tell me what the heck this is. I got no clue. I, I honestly have no clue what I'm opening up right now. Um, no clue. Uh, Tavern Swindler. That was reprinted recently, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Uh, White of Precinct 6. What? Oh, what is this? We got Cobra Boy. Death Hood Cobra. Cool card. Um, you pay two. Gain some reach. Or gave a death touch. And then we got Gate Creeper Vine. Assassin Boy. Got Assassin Boy. Cool token. With another Vine. River Boa. What am I opening? It looks like to be some maybe a Planeswalker build or something. Vine Lasher Kudzu. Okay. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a post on post on counter on Vine Lasher Kudzu. That's not bad. If that was a one drop, that would be sick. But it's a plant though. Um, so that can get out of hand, especially with that uh with the new uh powerhouse, uh Omnith. You know, that could do some stuff. And then we got Putrid Leech. Wow, they mixed it up this time. Kind of weird. Okay, Putrid Leech. Or Mage. Ruf Rufian. Roof E. Oh, anybody? Okay, Robin Williams, rest in peace. Recluse and a Spawn Wraith. Okay. When Spawn Wraith deals combat damage to a player, put a token that's a copy of Spawn Wraith onto the battlefield. That is Trample. That can get annoying, too. Elemental card. First time I've ever seen that card. I know. Small world. Joey Moss lives in, apparently. Allhand Viper. Okay, this is different. Uh, Viper deals combat damage to a, a creature. Destroy that creature at end of combat. Viper deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. That's pretty legit. That's pretty cool for a snake. All right, I like it. Okay. Uh, Corpse Traders. Boar Boy. Got Boar Boy. Whoosh, robber. I wonder if any commons here are worth a, worth a darn. Who knows? Um, battlefield, destroy target, non artifact, non creature. Okay. okay, that's something. Destroy some stuff. And then we got Reaper of the Wilds. There you go. Give it Death Touch. Give it Hexproof until end of turn. Cool stuff. Acidic Slime. Okay, so we're already up to one, two, three, four. Four rares so far in this uh, little guy here. Acidic Slime. Grudion. Tragic Slip. Can't go wrong with that. Target creature gets minus 13, minus 13. Don't have turn instead of creatures died this turn. Two Tragic Slips. Okay. Uh, hypnotic cloud. What the frickin is this from? There's been times I pulled all foil uh, decks out of one of these. Knight's Whisper, which was pretty cool. Um, going for like 50 to like 80 bucks at the time. Marsh Casualties, Treasure to Find. Okay. Last Kiss. The Stab Wound, cool card. Underworld freaking Connections. Love it. Enchant Land. Enchanted Land has. Tap it. Pay one life. Draw a card. Not bad at all. That's a sweet card. I, I almost kind of prefer this card over the other one where you lose one life and draw a card no matter what because you have to lose that one life every single time. Um, which one do you guys prefer, though? Out of curiosity. All right, anyway. We got Guildgate, uh, Rogue's Passage. There you go. Rogue's Passage, boy. Uh, tr tainted Wood. Don't taste that wood, guys. It's tainted. Looks like a bunch of swamps and forests to close this one out with an assassin token at the end cool okay that wasn't so shabby right there uh that was not so shabby let's uh let's see what's up inside what nathan sent before we get to this last cube which it does feel heavier i wonder what's in, i don't even know what's inside that I I, I I i wonder if it's gonna be the same exact deck that's a crazy question all right let me crack this puppy open nathan buck thank you for sending this out there we go finally got to opening it and we got some stuff going on here <laughs> Nathan says, hello. Nathan says, hello. All right, let's see. Okay, there was a little personal information on there. I just want to make sure. But uh, Nathan, my dude, Nathan Buck says, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you are well. I dig your videos. I've spent many an hour watching your arena play and box openings. We're going to get back to arena play very soon, this week, for guaranteed sure. Keep on doing what you do, and good luck. Recently, Wizards sent me an entire case of pre-release 
kits for replacement of a box of damaged Zendikar boosters. Wizards customer service is awesome sometimes. I'm sending you these arena codes to share with your viewers as you see fit. Oh, we're gonna, we're, I'm going to throw them all your way right now. Uh, he says, I'm including a disenchant. There it is. He has an address right below that. I'm including a disenchant. There we go. Okay. Uh, he'd like uh, it to be signed. That would be awesome. Send it back his way. Cool, cool, cool. And he provided his uh, information there to send it back right to him. Okay, so guys, get ready for some freebies here. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Wow. Okay, this is a lot of pre-release codes. You better leave that thumbs up button, man, and give a shout out to Nathan. If you redeem one of these, I want to hear thanks, Nathan, in the comment section. That's a pre-release code going on right there, baby. Hot diggity darns. Here's another one. Oh, my gosh. All right. And another one. That's right. Get a mother hat. Get a mother hat. And another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And another one. Wow. Nathan, you really hooked it up. Nathan hooked it up. And another one. Wow. You get six packs. Easy right there, baby. Easy peasy. And there's another one. Whoa. Okay. Really, really cool. I'll dish out uh, the remaining right here in just a moment. I got the disenchant. I will sign that for you, my good sir. Thank you for doing that, Nathan. That was very kind of you. But let's see what's inside this last Magic the Gathering. Walmart MTG Mystery Cube. What, oh, what will we find inside? Everything stuck. What do you know? Okay, <laughs> there we go. This one's smaller than the other one and really friggin' tight. That's what he said. All right, so we got ourselves a pack of Throne of Eldrain and a Fate Reforged. Hot diggity darn. Let's start with the Fate Reforged, baby. Give me some juice. Give me some juice in that caboose. If you guys have went out and got yourselves your, uh, your hands on one of these... Uh, you know, mystery cubes lately. Let me know what you've pulled in the comments. I need to hear about that because they don't always do just the commander stuff. Usually they mix it up. So there you go. Uh, Dragon Claw Boy showing his face. Trample at the beginning of combat on your turn. You may pay three if you do gain control of target creature and opponent controls with power less than uh, Dragon Claw's power until end of turn. Untap that creature. Gain haste on end of turn. That is something. Okay. Okay. We pulled that. Okay. Okay. I'm cool with that, man. And ourselves a Throne of Eldraine pack. Let's see what's going on in here. A little crystal slipper. Cinderella wannabe. All right. Let's see what we get out of here. All right. Come on. Let's get something juicy, baby. Poor guy. He's having nightmares. Unreal. Wilds. Smasher. Oh, yeah, daddy -o. Ooh. All right. We did freaking good on throne packs. Talk about luck beyond Joey's boss's side. Last pack marks is back. Oosh. All right. Garou Cursed Huntsman. Legit. We will take it. Nice, nice Planeswalker right there to add to the PC. Sure, for personal collection. You learn something new every day. I know, I know. What is this? Okay. Ulvenwald Observer Foil. All right. What are we getting here? Interesting, interesting. We got ourselves an Ulvenwald Observer Foil. Whenever a creature you control with toughness four or greater dies, draw a card. 6-6. Six, six. All right. I guess if you mixed in, like, a bunch of card draw when a creature comes to the battlefield with four or greater, and then, like, throw, like, two of these or one of these, you know, in the deck as well, uh, then when they die, you get a perk also. That's kind of cool. All right. We got this dude doing things. Okay. We got uh, Emrakul's of Angel. For three, sacrifice Emrakul's of Angel and any number of other non-Eldrazi creatures. Put a 3-2 colorless Eldrazi horror creature token onto the battlefield for each creature sacrificed this way. Legit. We got uh, Mr. Crossroads, dude. Uh, the Bearer. Hamlet, uh, Hamlet. Hamlet. Can we talk Hamlet? Who wrote the book? Who, who wrote Hamlet? Anyone know? I, was that Shakespeare? That wasn't Shakespeare, was it? That was Mozart. I think it was Mozart. All right. Cathar. Slayer. 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 Great band. Great band. Who's blaring some Slayer right now? I can hear it over here. I know one of you are. Uh, we got Outrider. Followed by Binder. Where are some... Uh, maybe like rares. Okay, Angel. This one's looking Dudley, not Studly. There might be some stuff in the back here, unless they're just going out with all friggin' basics. No way. Basics to close it out? No. Okay, there we go. We hit some other stuff. All right, we got uh, Griff's Boon. Bada bing. Okay. Got the arms. Strength. Okay. Cultist staff. Okay. Col Cultist staff. Okay, times two. Open the armory. 
We got the cleaver, crazy looking uh, stuff. That's like what Joey Moss does, it breaks open a card, you know? Fun times. Restraints, we got Hope Dude. Cleansing, skill, did we get like a finish with a, full, a rare? No, nothing, okay, Faith Unbroken. Ugh. All right, kind of got beat up there. Uh, here's one more of these right here for you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Bada bang. Some more codes for you. Uh, thank you so much, Nathan Buck, for sending this out, man. Really, really cool of you. And if you guys want to get your hands on the Lightning Aggro and the Funko, Nicole Bolas, go back one video. I announced who's taking those sweet puppies home. That is correct. It is the War of the Spark. Booster box, double booster box opening, Japanese version with the alternate art lottery cards in it. It's insanity. We actually pull four big hits out of there. You got to check out the video. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I'm Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. Skittish yourself. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Hooray.